controlled chaos here. In this video, I am going to go over the major changes in Rebirth's issue 5 Clock Stompers. If you're wanting a full deep dive read of what's all in this update, click on the link in the description down below and you will be able to read everything. I'm just hitting the major points of this. First off is the Synapse Task Force King's Fall, level 15 through 20 task force. They've added in some changes and made it play a bit differently and added in new badges. The badges they have added in is Body is a Temple, First Time Free, Just a Slip, Mighty Incapacitated, and All the Rage. However, the great thing they've done here is they've made it so that you can actually go to the Borealis Crystal and journey back in time and play the original event, the original task force, which is really, really cool. Now, I want to talk to you guys about their new pool power, Experimentation. Experimentation is on some of the other servers. Rebirth now has it. And if you haven't heard about experimentation, I'm going to go over the powers with you. Just a brief overview. First off, there's experimental injection. This is a short range used on your allies. It's a plus regeneration, plus recovery, plus resistance. Then there is toxic dark. It is a ranged minor lethal damage, high toxic damage attack. Then there is speed of sound. This is super speed in this power pool. But when you get speed of sound, you also get jaunt. Jaunt is a self teleport. Next in this power set is corrosive vial. It is a ranged targeted AOE with high toxic damage and reduces the enemy's defenses. Then there's adrenaline booster. This is used on yourself. It is a plus to hit recharge and damage after that they've also added in two new enhancement sets they added in rolling barrage and rolling barrage is really cool because it stacks and instead of just doing up to three stacks you can do up to six stacks and the more stacks you do the more bonuses it gives beyond the normal bonuses which is nice and these drop off of all normal content that can be maintained and at various merit vendors then there's synapse agility this predominantly increases your run speed jump speed and stuff like that but there's more that I can do on different ones and this stacks just like the barrage one does where the more you stack on to the better benefits you get and this set can be gathered by doing the speed run challenges which is a new thing that they've added in for task force which i'm going to talk about right now upon successfully completing a task force or strike force with the speed challenge enabled you will receive random travel recipes if you get bronze uh, features the highest chance of uh, it heightens the chance of getting a run, jump, or flight and or teleport recipe. A silver will give improved chance for universal travel abilities, and then the gold is where you get those exclusive synapse ones I was just talking about. So that's a really cool effect that they put in with having these speed run challenges. It gives you a reason to go back and play these different task force and strike forces, which I really, really like. Now, I do want to let you guys know that on gaming imagery, there is a sale going on of 20 percent off on everything on the store plus a new valentine's design on the store and this sale will go until february 14th and it stacks with the 15 percent off of using the controlled chaos code so that gets a total of 35 percent off plus if you order over a hundred dollars worth of uh merch there you will get free shipping so if you have someone that you love you want to get them a cool valentine's gift that's the store to go to 
if you're wanting to get them something gaming related. Now, back to the information. Next up, we have Travel Pool Power revamps. They've done a lot. They've touched all the major travel powers. Running, jumping, and flying speed caps have all been increased by 400%. So you're able to jump quicker. You're able to run quicker. You're able to fly quicker. And I really, really like that. They've made more changes than just that. And this makes things a lot more funner with them. So let me go over some of those big major changes that they've done. Flurry. Flurry is no longer a single target attack. It is a narrow melee cone attack. Whirlwind has had a huge change that I really like. They put in a feature on Rebirth called Attract. So now when you do Whirlwind, you're not having to move your character around to hit all those guys that are a bit spread out. It actually pulls in and attracts them in to you so that you're able to just stand there and pull them all in and it is really really cool i really like this ability that adds more to it and that is really cool another thing that they've done is they made it so that burnout actually affects flurry and whirlwind with short-term immediate boosts to using burnout which is nice and next up I want to talk about is with Leap. Leap with Jump Kick, you had to be really close to them to use Jump Kick. Well, Rebirth has done it to where you will now teleport to the target if you're further than 7 feet away and then do the Jump Kick ability, which I really like. Then they added in Acrobatics into this. And with the Acrobatics that they added into this, it's really nice because it adds a plus to jump, plus defense all, and plus resist to knockbacks and holds. With that being said, they've also done a cool thing uh, with flight. And with flight, what they've done is they've added in the acrobats to this for flying. And this replaced what group flight was. But here's the cool thing. With adding in this acrobatics and, and replacing with group flight, group flight still there. You just get automatically when you get acrobatics. Same thing with dive attack, formerly called afterburn. This is an area of effect smashing damage that's superior. It knocks back foes and teleports yourself. And then when you get this one, you'll get afterburn and i really like that feature there it gives more attacks then teleport is really great they've done a lot of great changes to this what was formerly called recall friend is now recall and the reason they call it just recall is they took teleport foe and recall friend and made it one ability all you do is click that ability you select your target click that ability it will pull either the friend or foe that you have targeted to you and i think that is a great change taking and merging those two abilities that were similar and making them one to where you're not having to worry about which button you're hitting for foe or friend it's all one i think that's amazing next what they've done is they took teleport foe and they changed it into what's called blink this is a ranged high smash damage you teleport yourself this one's really cool you basically do a short distance teleport and an immediate hit on the enemy that does a good amount of damage however currently on test i have seen a bug when you're playing a stalker and you do that uh, blink you will hit your enemy while you have hide on and you'll do that on my crit that you're supposed to have but then your next attack will also have an automatic crit on it too it's a guaranteed crit for that second attack i think that needs to be fixed they need to get rid of that second guaranteed crit and make it the normal crit chances after you've done your blink attack with that being said there's more that they've done to teleport that makes it cool so what was Team Teleport is now called Blink Blitz. And Blink Blitz is a high damage smash area effect teleport on enemies and gives you a plus defense. When you buy this, you will get Team Teleport. 
So that's how they've worked that in. And that's really, really nice. Another one that they've done is they've taken long range teleport and turned it into mass translocate. This is an area effect teleport bow to you. And that's really, really great. It allows you to bring, and if you have two groups really close together, you can teleport one group and the other group will be left where it is and you'll be able to separate out those groups. I like that idea. And then when you get this one, you'll then also get long range teleport, which makes it easier. So you're adding more teleport abilities and you're making teleport more combat oriented, which I think is great. A few changes that they've made to the Peacekeeper. They have changed energy flight to solar glide and then your group energy flight is nested in with that just like your teleport abilities were and your afterburns and stuff like that where when you get solar glide you will get group flight and solar glide gives you a plus to speed a resistance to being knocked out of the air a plus to defense and plus to flight control Another thing they did is quantum acceleration is now called Starfall. And Starfall is a area effect, superior smash damage, phone knockdown, self teleport, just like the flight one. And then quantum acceleration is nested in under that. And that's how that works. Now, with that being said, there's also changes to Warshade. Shadow Recall has been renamed to Starless Recall. This is a target teleport. This works just like Recall does, is you select either a friend or an enemy and it teleports them to you, which is really nice. Then there was Starless Step is now called Starless Charge and they made changes to it and balanced it out more. Then on top of that, they took in a extending uh, light is what it's named now and then shadow step is under that and extinguishing light is an area effect high damage negative energy self teleport with defense so it's basically sort of like that blink blitz in a way but for the warship and i like that and then shadow slip is nested in with that so when you get extinguishing light you'll get shadow step more to come still is force field revamps they've done major changes to the force field they made it so your personal force field which you couldn't attack out of but you wouldn't get attacked or take damage either they've made major changes to it to where you can now attack and buff outside of that personal force field while it's up and the way they balance this out is it will last for 30 seconds and then will deactivate and cannot be activated for another 90 seconds. And they increased the recharge time to 120 seconds. But they reduced the animation time by a second. And so that's really cool. They'd like you guys to really test that out and get your feedback on that though. They want to know your guys' thoughts on that. So jump on the test server, let them know. Next up, the major change that they've done is what was detention field is now barrier field. And this barrier field has some special properties that go with it. You can now bounce and push them around and pull them in and things like that. And it's really cool, you know, using that attractability and stuff like that. What was considered repulsion field is now containment shield. And this is an area effect, attracts foes, immobilizes them, uh, makes it so that they can't jump, reduces uh, repel, turns the knockback into a knock down. Then on top of that, you have force bubble. Force bubble is a area effect bow, reduces speed, reduces damage, knocks them down, and repel them. However, the way this works is you have that repulsion field. If you use the repulsion field after playing up the force bubble, it will turn the force bubble into a repulsion field. So that repulsion field that you put around yourself, you can now have that affect the force bubble and repel everyone 
from that uh, in that force bubble instead of attracting them it repels them in an area and I think that's really sort of a cool idea on top of that they've also made some costume changes they've enhanced costume customization especially if you're seeing on screen right now they've enhanced natural skin tones they've extended it added more in to that along with that is you have more random color selections are now available on creating new characters then as you're seeing on screen now there is more emblems you have a lot of cool emblems you have a banana you have an elephant's head you have a giraffe's head a squid different types of hearts popcorns i see here controller that's from the Atari 2600 sleep peppers and stuff like that that's just really interesting but there's more than just that there's also a graffiti's emblem pack that's really nicely done artistically wide is for graffiti look to it that you can add to it and i like that because it they've taken some of the inspiration of the current ones and added a graffiti feel to them or just creating completely new graffiti ones that are really really nice the other thing that they've done is they've made a more enhanced version of integrated tights so with that whole entire glowing aura and the sand and stuff like that are integrated into more of the different types of tights so you want to go through custom uh, character customization because it's not just for men or women they've enhanced it on multiple areas of that and things like that some other things that they've done is they've made it so that the ninja assault and military assault on the guardians are now on the dominators you now have those power sets to play with on dominators with that there's a few changes that they made to a couple of powers the stone armor for tanks and brutes has been turned into a bear toggle so when you toggled on granite armor it toggles off all of those other abilities and then you'd have to go through and toggle on stone armor brimstone armor crystal armor and minerals and stuff like that instead of it toggling those all off when you turn on granite armor it now makes it so it suppresses those abilities and stops the endurance drains from those abilities and then once granite armor is done all those are still on and then the endurance and those abilities start working again naturally so you're not having to worry about clicking a bunch of buttons this is saving some micromanaging for you guys and i really like that relenting has had its uh crash powers and it increases the ability of stopping from uh crashing your powers which i really like super uh reflexes for tankers brute scrappers and stalkers has the agility dodge and luck now accept resistance enhancements now the uh mystic flight and the jet packs have the ability to ex um to switch off super jump just like flight does you can only have flyer you can have super jump they'll toggle each other off there's been some changes to energy gauntlet in the gadgetry along with turbo boost with all that said i think that is some really great things they've also added in some new slash commands some of the slash commands that they've added in is a forward slash screen file then the file name this will allow you to save images to a custom folder i like that a lot they've also changed and abbreviated some slash commands such as when you're targeting enemies or when you're targeting friends you can now when targeting enemies do a forward slash tge and then like if you want to do nearest to farthest you do underscore x if you want to do farthest to nearest you do underscore p if you want the nearest you do underscore n if you want the furthest you do underscore f and then if you want friend it's forward slash t g f so e is for enemy f is for friend x is for going from near to far p 
he is from going to far to near n is for near f is for furthest and that's what they've done there so they've really enhanced things a great way of doing this another thing i want to mention is you know how you can change your your flight pose by saying forward slash flight pose and then number one through five well you can now go into the tailor shop and you can change your flight poses so you're not having to constantly type that out and this works for all of the flights this works for your pre springers your regular flight your jetpack your mystic flight they all work for this and that's really really cool so those are the major things that are coming to rebirth in issue five clock stomper what is your favorite part of this update comment down below i have also done a longer video deep diving into the high details of this update going through the numbers and everything like that except for the the, the main uh balances and stuff like that of bug fixing if you want that longer video which is about an hour long comment down below let me know and you guys have a great day